We are in Buenos Aires, Argentina at the World Amateur Team Championships. We're with Greg Quinn, Vice President of Thorgard. Greg, you've come in to do the weather. You guys do weather at a lot of tournaments. Tell us what your function actually is. Yeah, absolutely. We do uh, championships all over the world this, this uh, time we're in Argentina. Basically, we provide forecasts on a daily basis for uh, the championship, obviously for the rules committee and the, the uh, players, but also for the agronomy staff that has to uh, control kind of the conditions of the golf course. So we want to maximize the conditions and, of course, maintain uh, safety because, as you know, we'll have thunderstorms uh, different place in the world. And we'll have them here, probably in Argentina while we're down here. And it's very important that we have uh, lightning prediction equipment like ThorGuard uh, to help keep us safe when there's uh, lightning in the forecast. Now you told me this is the first time you've been to Argentina. Obviously you've done uh, events a lot of places. Do you have to do some sort of homework to get prepared for a different country, a different place? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, even when we're in the United States, we got to, you know, do a little forecasting in advance. But here, especially being uh, on the Southern Hemisphere, of course, it's going into spring here versus fall in the United States. So you have to get used to the, the patterns, the weather patterns specifically for Argentina. Also, the climate, uh, it's good to know what temperatures we're expecting and whether it's going to be a little hotter or uh, cooler. Uh, it basically, you know, those things help definitely when you're forecasting for an event like this. Do we have any specific challenges here over the next three weeks that we have to be concerned about? I think this time of year, uh, today it's a little windy, you know, it's, it's springtime, so you got to think of uh, springtime wherever you're at, and it's normally the windiest part of the year, so we'll have to deal with a little bit of wind. And uh, we have had some rain the last couple of days, quite a bit of rain on Wednesday night into Thursday. So uh, almost like being in the southeast United States, you got to look out for some rain and, and thunderstorms uh, throughout the championship. So that's your sort of long-range prediction that uh, it's, it's going to be, we're heading into spring, so it'll, we'll get the typical spring weather, not too bad, but we could get some pop-ups? Yeah, here the typical spring weather, believe it or not, is uh, in the 70s and mid-50s for lows. So that's what we're looking at next. You know, it'll be between the 60s and 70s, but periods of showers and thunderstorms every, every. So we'll have about three days of rain and maybe thunderstorms, and then three or four days of uh, good weather. So it's definitely a changing time, but uh, all in all, looks pretty good. Well, golf or uh, weather, of course, is a huge uh, element when it comes to golf. So we're glad you're here with us for these three weeks, Greg. It's good to be here. <laughs>